Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our latest Coffee House concert series here at Milford Performing Arts Center. I'm Ray Osier, and I would like to welcome to the show tonight uh, Tony Giuliano and uh, Nancy Baudet and Shannon Jackman. Round of applause. So we do this once a month. It's uh, on Milford TV, of course, and you may be watching it later at a later date on YouTube. They have a great YouTube channel, so make sure you explore MilfordTV.net. They're fine programming and uh, also their YouTube channel. A lot of music stuff on there. I just want to thank everybody for supporting local music for just coming out tonight. So put your hands together and give yourselves a round of applause for supporting local music. I want to thank MPAC. Carol, thank you very much for having us here on a mon uh, monthly basis. And I know we'd like to do more shows like this, so you'll see more in the future. Um, each, uh, each act is going to do a song, tell a story about their original song, and we'll move through about four times. So you hear four songs in total from, uh, from each act. Are you guys ready for some music? Yeah. All right. Take it away. Tony, why don't you start us off? Sure. <clears throat> Um, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to start off with a song um, that's kind of about uh, um, a realization. Um, in my case, in this, you know, what inspired this song was a realization that a person in my life, <clears throat> you know, I just realized was, um, you know, was a very important person, and um, you know, we had known each other for a long time, and all of a sudden, it just, you know, sort of came into focus, and. Uh, I started thinking about it, and <clears throat> and it kind of worked its way into the song a little bit as, like you know, uh, a light or a beacon of hope, you know, uh, sort of, you know, again a realization of when all of a sudden you realized, wow, this is this is right in front of me, and it's, you know, it's uh, it's got all my attention. So, anyways, this is a, a song called um, a Horizon. I never really know what's on the horizon. Yeah, I wanna know just how you got him grow. about you as I can't believe what's in front of me and I've come to see you as my survival cause there you are you're like a shining star surrounding The blind man sees. I guess that only goes to show that you never ever really know what's on the horizon. What's on the horizon? Hey, I wanna know, baby, what's in your soul? Cause I got to know. Baby, what drives you? Cause I must concede And what's come over me For these feelings you see There is no rival And there you are You're like a shining star Surrounding blind man sees Guess that only goes to show that you never ever really know what's on the horizon Yeah, what's on the horizon Sunrise and sunsets The 
world keeps turning With some peace and some regret How about we keep learning Day by day it goes And don't forget that we'll never know What's on the horizon And what's on the horizon Never know Thank you. Thank you very much. You never really know, and that is the fun thing about being a songwriter. Hey, Tony? It's like That's right. you just never know what's going to happen. And um, Songwriting is, uh, is prophetic sometimes, um, I mean, we, and it's ther certainly therapeutic. So uh, I've, I've been able to work out a lot of angst and hard times and good times and joy and sadness uh, in songwriting. But it's not um, particularly often that, um, that, that it becomes so prophetic that, uh, like it, in the case of this song, I wrote it a year before all the things happened to me. <laughs> There's nothing new about starting over People do it all the time Someone finds a new lover Another stays behind And leaving you I get no points for bravery There's nothing new about starting over It's just new to me And I don't need luck I don't want fame But I don't want to stay the same it's my chance, mine to claim It's as good a time as any for a change So I'm breaking with tradition It might be a story of a man On unfamiliar wings It feels a lot like restitution For a host of unknown sin But I'm breaking with tradition It's a mess I'm glad I'm in And I don't need luck I don't want fame I don't want to stay the same It's my chance Mine to claim It's as good a time as any For a change If I let another day go by Waiting for tomorrow Soon enough there'll be no time to borrow No time to borrow No time to borrow And I don't need luck Good 
time as any for a change. Thank you. Thank you so much. Shanna, on to you, girlfriend. Oh, I'm just such a big fan of you. And I'm a big fan of yours. Tony, you're not so bad yourself over there, hey. buddy. I don't know, that was a good song, right? <laughs> Thank you. Wait till you hear this one. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, um, no lie, I was a fan of Nancy's before we started working together and co-writing together in this uh, next song. Uh, we wrote together along with Connie Mims and she's not here with us, she's living in Texas. Yes. So Connie, Nancy and I have been co-writing this last year. Most of our co-writes, or all of them actually, were through Google video chat. Or Skype. And Skyping together. There's no um, miles between writers <coughs> anymore. Yeah, so we had a Texan, a Canadian, a and a <laughs> Worcester gal video chatting and co-writing together and uh, we recently uh, went to Nashville a couple weeks ago and recorded all our songs, so it was an amazing event. Got to meet Connie for the first time, because uh, we face only face-to-face. Yeah. Face. <laughs> <laughs> she picked me up at the airport in Nashville, so I was like crying when I met her, because it was the first time I got to meet her. So well, You didn't tell me you were crying. It was I was great. a little emotional. I was in Nashville, too. That was kind of awesome. It was the whole thing. So, But this was the first song that uh, we wrote together. Well, Go Ahead actually was kind of the first yeah. first go. Tell us about this song, though. But I want to talk about this one. Sorry. See, she's already directing <laughs> me. You're already talking too much, Shanna. This one really speaks for itself, to be <laughs> honest with you. Um, it's, it's All the lyrics are pretty clear cut, um, but I tell you, I always, I, I always kind of say to people, I, I'm a singer in country and uh, this couldn't be more country. It is. It's about a truck. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. It's about a Ford truck. Uh, my father's a Ford mechanic for many years, so I only drive Ford. Ford, drive Ford. He works at Wayside Ford in Marlboro. Go there, his name is Doug. Thank you very much, a little plug. Um, and uh, it's about a bad relationship. You know, we all get them. And, you know, basically I said to him, I knew I needed to get out. And I really uh, wanted to, I knew that after I got out of this relationship and all I really wanted was to leave with my truck and he could have everything else, I knew this really would make a great country song. And I had this in my head way before I met Nancy and Connie and was just waiting for the great, right time to write the song. And, um, you know, a lot of times you hear the joke that if you rewind a country song, you get everything back. But this is not one of those songs, because you know what, honey? You can have it all. You don't need to rewind the song back. Keep it. Just give me my truck, and I'll be on my way. So here you go. Do we, do that? we don't do this with the capo on, though, do we? No, that would really throw... There we go, that's good. <laughs> you can keep the house, take the boat. I won't need those things where I'm gonna go. You took my heart, you took my soul. I lost myself when I let you take control. But I'm changing everything Taking off my wedding ring You can stand back now and watch me drive away With my truck I'm gonna fly Got no time for a sad goodbye Hands on the wheel, heavy on the pedal Spending my time trying to beat the devil Tired of putting up with this thing called us I'm In my truck, 
brick Ain't no roll of duct tape was gonna fix So you can keep the dog in the big back of your Guess you're gonna have to ask for the keys to your mama's car Cause I'm shutting the door I can't take no more And I don't need nothing but a V8 5.4 In my truck I'm gonna fly Got no time for a sad goodbye Hands on the wheel, heavy on the pedal Spending my time trying to beat the devil Trying to put it up with this thing called up I'm done giving you my love So along with all your stuff Thank you. All you, Tony. Oh boy. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a that's a great song, I tell you. Um, I've never really considered myself a huge country fan, except for some of the obvious, like Johnny Cash. And what's up? But you know, I'm catching on now. <laughs> uh, we'll make you a believer. I've you know driven around listening to some tunes with uh, Jim, and I tell you what, country music has a great way of putting. Just a nice, simple message out there with passion, and I can't take anything away from it. And that, the energy. Lots of pictures. Now I'm really going to depress you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring one like that. Can we cut to something so I can come back? And uh, No. Um, anyways. Yeah, I know. This is a song called Tears. <laughs> maybe, right. I, maybe I should shuffle it up, but the rest of your song is going to be slower. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, we got balance. <laughs> That's all right. That's we all got right. sad stuff, too. Don't worry. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, here's a song of mine. I actually played this song on uh, New England Cable News a couple years ago after I released the CD. And um, <clears throat> it's, uh, you know, it's one that's very close to me. Um, it was, uh, I wrote this after, you know, a period of mourning after my my dad passed away. And... And I kind of had some ideas, and you know, I thought I had a song, and just kind of went on the back burner for a while, and uh, then it would come out again. <clears throat> and, you know, it kept coming out until it, you know, it sounded like it was going to be a song. Um, and it's, you know, mainly the song is called "Tears," something we're all familiar with at one you know, point or another. Um, you know, whether we like to admit it or not. <clears throat> but it's also about, uh, you know, just accepting life and. You know, things happen, and, you know, you go through life, um, and, you know, you face challenges, you get through them. Um, but it's also about time. <clears throat> There's a lyric in there, uh, um, in this song about time keeps marching on. And, you know, um, that's the whole thing to keep focused on is, you know, the here and now, and, you know, focus on the time you got. It's the only thing you can't buy back. Um, <clears throat> so the song's somewhere in all of that. It's called Tears. Yeah. 
And these tears keep falling down All these years And they're still around I still hear the sound of your voice It always resonated so loud And did me proud Still tears keep falling down And these years are chasing me down All the same fears And they're still around And then the voices scream Hey, can we just turn this thing around Or on a ground Never to be found Is there ever enough time? I don't think so Will I ever feel like I've conquered the town? Please tell me now why do these tears keep falling down? Times on the clock, pages silently keep ticking round. Tell me why do these tears keep falling down? Time's all we've got now So don't you look down Time, time, time Keeps marching on The time that you planned for will Soon be gone before you realize That these tears keep falling Ticking around, tell me why do these tears keep falling down? Time's all we've got now. Don't you look down? Is there ever enough time? I don't think so. Will I ever feel like I've come? the town please tell me now why do these tears keep falling down hands on the clock they keep silently just ticking around tell me why do these tears keep falling down time's all we've got now don't you look down Ooh, don't you look down time it keeps marching along thank you thank you very much cool song thank you yeah I get that you know my mom's been gone for 12 years now, and it feels like yesterday, yeah. and the grief kind of sticks around, does, you know, you yeah. think. Yeah. So it's a good, good message in there. Thank you. I grew up up in uh, eastern Ontario in, in Canada. It's about an hour um, west of Montreal, if you can kind of picture where that is, right on the St. Lawrence River. and. Um, into the St. Lawrence, there's a little river system called the Raisin River. And uh, the Raisin has three little tributaries. It's got the little main branch, it's got the north branch and the south branch of the Raisin, and they all flow into the St. Lawrence. But I grew up along the south branch of the Raisin River. And um, it's not a very big river. It's got catfish in it. And, and, uh, and we used to play along it. And then the, the, the road that that I grew up on, that my parents bought a house there when, when I was just two months old. Um, I ended up buying a house about eight minutes up the road, so I kept that address for a really long time. 
So I had a big birthday a couple of years back, and I'm not going to tell you which one, um, but it was big, and um, I wanted to write a song that kind of uh, captured the essence of where I grew up, and uh, and at the same time paid honor, paid homage to uh, the Big Five O. The South Branch Road winds and rolls Like the river that flows by its side I can trace the years from my birth to here Right down the center line I fell in love with tar and storm And a county lined with maple and oak In 61 with three kids in tow Mom and dad bought a place there And made it home I spent my summers on a steel blue bike Weaving shoulder to shoulder Like wind in a kite Dreaming big and reaching high Riding further and further Out on my own I can trace the years from my birth to here, right down the center line. Things have changed throughout the years. Houses built up where there used to be fields. You sure move fast when you've got four wheels. If I could turn it around, I'd take it slow. I can trace the years from my birth to here, right down the center line. And I still see every curve and bend down the old road. Remember when every patch and hole like a long lost friend after all these years it still feels like home I can trace the years from my birth to here, right down the center line. Thank you. Sure, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be a good call. I think it's since we're on the topic of family and parents. Oh, since you've got that, maybe I don't need this, huh? Well, this, is, this one's kind of a mess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This was probably in our six songs that we recorded in Nashville. This... Um, for the EP. This was probably <laughs> the, toughest. the toughest song. <laughs> we rewrote this how many times? Oh gosh, I don't even know. It was several. And it originally was called Road to Me. Now it's called Road to You. It's Road to You. It was originally about well, I can't tell you because that might be another song later down the line. Well, but I think the song kind of ha- move, moves along and, and kind of says what it's about. But it also it's also like um, you know, just it's, this is a good indication of how the songwriting process works. So in so many cases, it's not just 
you don't get it on the first write. You know, good writing is, is about the editing afterwards, and you, to get a good write, you gotta rewrite and rewrite and rewrite, which is really the case with this. We knew Shanna had a great idea here, and, and we could all buy into it, right? It was, because it was about mothers. And you've got a special one. Yeah, she's right there. Hi, Mama. <laughs> so, we tear up, all of us, us three. Every time we video chatted, we cried. Every time, when we got through this song and we, we finally were like, this was it. Or even when we were in Nashville recording and those musicians just did a few, few lines. When they, the piano went on this, we were just started tears it going. Great. It yeah. was pretty awesome. So um, we're so happy with the results. But um, so this is near and dear to our hearts. But uh, I think all of all of you can relate to it too. Whether it's your mom or just somebody that just important in your life and it's about the road in which we all travel so it's, it's not necessarily have to be just our road or our mothers but it's it's a road in which you travel in your life and that it's it's never easy um although in, in, if our parents are in in our lives has kind of made it look easy you know it it's amazing how uh, when you're an adult how you realize that maybe it wasn't so easy and you have so much more respect for them as you're an adult. All right, so I try not to cry now that I'm talking about it. Ugh. And don't you cry, because then I'm not gonna be able to get the spotlight brighter or something so I can't see. Sorry about that, kid. <laughs> That's it. That's it. From the second she was born, she'd been traveling. Love and dreams have been her steady guide. They steered her straight and narrow through a share of twists and turns. She had her chance, but she never left our side. Mama never let me know it wasn't easy. Grew up thinking we had more than enough. She would cheer me on, lift me up. We're holding down three jobs. She could always find a smile. She said it's a concrete path, a rocky patch, it goes fast and slow, it knows where you come from, it knows where you'll go, stretching out, rolling on, Lord knows it's hard to do, it might take a while, but you keep on moving down the road.
Thanks, Ma. It's to me. It's to you, Tony. Yeah, no, um, a big round of applause for you guys out there, too, for coming out and supporting. You know, supporting the arts. You know, this is a great place here at the MPAC, and uh, I know they have a lot of good things going on, especially, uh, what is it, Susical coming up with Ray Ozier as Horton? No. That's something I'm not going to miss. That's great. I'm not joking. I mean, I'm joking a little. But that is, I mean, this is a great place, and we've got to get it out there for young and old alike, that this is a place to come, you know, and get into the arts. Um, so, without further ado, I'm supposed to play a song. Um, <clears throat> here's a song, uh, I'm off my CD, actually it's the, uh, the title track, but the name of my CD was called uh, Songs from 3 AM, and I just played this on Ray's show, Living for the Weekend, the other day, or last Friday. <clears throat> and, um, um, you know, he asked me, he says, is this because all these, you know, songs on the CD came at 3 a.m.? <laughs> and I said, you're not far, no, I mean, yes, you're right. Um, <clears throat> at the time that I was writing a lot of these songs from this CD, I was a bartender in town here. So my, you know, schedule was different. I was a full-time bartender. I, you know, I didn't have a day job. Um, you know, I worked four or five nights a week. Um, behind the bar, and I had my days free to record at the studio, to write my songs, you know, um, you know, do whatever, go to the gym, you know, do your own cooking, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, the song uh, 3 a.m. is the title track, and um, I guess uh, the thought behind this, or you know, the reason you know about this song um, 3 a.m. is it's kind of, um, <clears throat> I was thinking about all the conversations that you have over the years, you know, maybe you know, having a couple drinks, staying up late with friends or whoever, and um, you know how talking promises get to be better and better and everything just seems like, wow, this, <laughs> this really makes sense. And, and of course that's at you know, 3 a.m. And then um, in the morning you wake up and you're like, oh no, do I have to did I tell that guy I was going to call him? I don't even like him, you know? Or, you know what, I'm just, you know, making that up. But um, then as you get older, you start reading, all right, Shanna, did I, did I ask her out? No. Um, <laughs> but as you, you know, I, I think as I got older, I got myself into those situations far too many times. And I said, listen, to myself, I said, self, you got to stop you got to stop and think and don't promise anything at 3 a.m. or late night or whatever because you're going to wake up the next morning and you're going to be miserable. Um, so this is kind of based on that kind of thing. Things are too tough to believe in at 3 a.m. Nice to see you again You want my heart to no end, yeah. But faith and trust and dignity, well, they're all very nice things you see, but they're too tough to believe in at 3 a.m. So I just close my eyes. Watch the world go spinning by No mountain is too high With you by my side Now I can fly Did I ever tell you that I love you? I want to show you how I care Come on and show me that you love me tonight You know that I ain't going nowhere 
follow me my friends this conversation let's suspend here cause faith and trust and dignity well I'm hoping they're our destiny but they're too tough to believe in at 3 a.m. I just close my eyes Watch the world go spinning by No mountain is too high Would you by my side? Now I can fly Did I ever tell you that I love you? Oh, I want to show you how much I care Come on and show me that you love me tonight You know that I ain't going nowhere, nowhere Come on and show me that you love me tonight You know that I ain't going nowhere Sit with me, my friend The story need not end here I'm hoping that you're digging me Cause your brown eyes paralyze, you see And it's just you and me It's 3 a.m. I just close my eyes Let the world go spinning by No mountain is too high With you by my side Now I can fly Did I ever tell you that I love you? Oh, I want to show you how much I care Come on and tell me that you love me tonight You know that I ain't going nowhere I ain't going nowhere Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh... Tony, is this the 3 a.m. CD that, that you're talking is, about? Let's just get a nice close-up of that for all the viewers at home. Hey, okay. yeah. look at that, yeah. Yeah, we have a few CDs up here. We've got, we got CDs and... and uh, yeah, show sure, CDs. Yeah. Oh, and Shannon Jackman, yeah, brand new yeah, CD. Yeah. Am I stealing your thunder here? Close, close up for the viewers at home, yes, yes. <laughs> you can bring these home with you, you tonight. Too. Call 1 800. <laughs> We're going to contact Time Life. I think we could do a late night thing. <laughs> yeah, Time Life. That's, let's get on that too. Yeah, mine are on the piano over there. I've got, uh, I got some. We've got CDs. we got all kinds of gifts for you to bring home. Actually, I run a uh, buy one, gift one free sale. You buy one, we, I've got some that are all wrapped up there in, in, in um, fancy wrapping paper. So you buy one, you take one with you to give to a friend. So that'd be really cool if you did that. I could offer that same deal. I know this is going to be viewed at home, and you folks at home are probably wondering, can I get that too? And uh, yes, you can. You can go to www.nancybodet.com. That's B-E-A-U-D-E-T-T-E.com. And go to my store. And you, or you email me. You tell me. You heard buy one, gift one free, and I'll honor that deal. Absolutely. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> yeah, well, you know. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play play one here that um, might be relevant for any of you who have ever left home to go to go away, leaving home for the first time, or if you've had a daughter or son leave for college this year and they've moved out. This uh, this may strike a nerve with you. I got the inspiration for this song when um, we were celebrating my father's 80th birthday and we were doing, this was in the fall, it was in November, so we were looking at decorating a hall and um, we, uh, at my sister's house, she had all this grapevine climbing up the TV antenna and um, so we were pulling that down. There was so much of it we thought, gosh, you can't, you know, let a good grapevine wreath opportunity pass so <laughs> we made oh, a million wreaths out of that and and decorated the hall uh, in, in those colors but that's the inspiration for this song those branches climb the house right over the peak spread out in a canopy of purple and green as high and as wide as a young girl's dreams that old grape finds a lot like me came to life like the flowers every spring Folks worked hard to tame that wild thing, tried to cut it down, but it grew back again. Should have let it be. She can't hold back a thing that's got to grow. You can't make stay what's got a mind to go.
I love it. When we got to sing in Nashville, um, we got to do a songwriter's round, which is similar to what we're doing here, pretty much exactly the same, actually. Connie, Nancy, and I got to do a round, and uh, we were doing harmonies with that song. Yeah, so we were. I was trying was awesome. to do a little bit of that, but for that one. It sounded nice. Thank you. I was trying. I was trying. Um, so this next song. So you saw the album. Thank you very much for that. For this public service announcement. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> The album is set to release September 26th. So what that means is that you will be able to buy it online, CD Baby, iTunes, Spotify, wherever and ever you can buy music online, it should be out there for you to buy. I have it uh, some for you this evening. You can go to my website and also buy it. But I am releasing a single that we're gonna play for you now. Uh, on its own before the September 26th date, and it's uh, going to be released on its own on September 11th. And the reason for that is because this particular song is a military tribute song. And when I knew we were going to be doing this EP, I knew that it would not be complete without writing a song to give thanks to our military, and not just our military, but their families as well, because they are also doing a sacrifice for us as well. They are not on the front lines, but they are at home, waiting for their loved ones to come home. So, um, this was also a very difficult song for me to write because, and it's very difficult for me to talk about without getting emotional. So for me, it was difficult to write because it's one that I could not find the words to say. There was so much that you tried to put in a three minute and something song. And how do you say thanks to somebody that lost their son or daughter? How can you say thanks to somebody that does not call themselves a hero? Um, there's a local gentleman, I believe in Bellingham, that lost his legs and I believe both his arms and his wife is pregnant and he said he'd do it all over again. And it just it amazes me that um, he would say that. So how do you say thanks? So I, for a while, in, talked to um, some of the military organizations that I work with and support. I go around and see the National Anthem a lot. It's my way to give back and say thanks. And I've asked them, what songs do you appreciate that you feel um, you enjoy to listen to? What um, words, key words that you would like to have in a song? I compiled all this research that I did and I said, Connie and Nancy, please help me write this song. Um, here are all these things that I want to put in it. This is what I want to say. How am I able to say it? And thank God for them in so many ways. Uh, but one of them is this song because they allowed me to say what I wanted to say, and uh, I am so grateful to have the opportunity to now go around and um, to many military events now and, and sing this song. Because thanks is completely not enough, and hopefully this is at least an opportunity to do so. Any and all sales to this song um, in September 11th when you buy the single, a portion of that I will go to help support our troops by care packages and also the local, local organizations that I help support. So um, you'll see that when you make a purchase, that, uh, that the description. So um, the song is called We Got Your Back. Closing in when 
attitude when we're looking for someone to blame. So we'll give you the secret promise a silent rock you can hold on to. When you're crying for peace in a sleepless night, when you're praying to God for some truth, we've got. What a great song. Powerful. It's a great song for a great cause and Absolutely. enough wow. said. Everything's said in the song. <clears throat> That's fabulous. Um, <clears throat> speaking of the capo. <laughs> the capo. I'm only using it on one of my songs, so let's see if I can remember. Uh, this next song, it's, um, it's a brand new song for me. I you know, haven't put it on a CD or anything yet, and um, you know, planning on doing that soon. Actually, my friend Jim, I, you know, have started it out. And this song is, um, <clears throat> I know, it's one of those, <clears throat> the uh, the main um, word or phrase, you know, that I use, or actually the title of the song, is something that you hear all the time. And now that I write the song, you know, that I've written the song. Um, I hear it every night. Um, how many times have you heard, oh, I mean, this, this person's out of control. I mean, you know, he or she's just a train wreck, you know? Or, you know, a friend calls you, hey, how's it going? Ah, just everything is just a train wreck, you know? I mean, nothing's going right. Um, so I, <clears throat> I don't know how uh, this came up. Um, I think I was going through a period of my life where I just kind of felt like, you know what? I don't know what's gonna come next. I know what I should do. I don't know if I wanna do that. <laughs> I might just wanna um, you know, just kinda hang out and just kinda you know, felt like everything was um, you know, just a big mess. And so I'm just saying, there's something in this, there's something in this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a train wreck. This is, <laughs> right now, this is a train wreck. And of course, things change, you know, things get better. Um, but I just thought it was, you know, one of those key words. And, you know, when you're writing songs, you know, you guys, <coughs> you know, I'm sure, I mean, in country, you can get away with mentioning truck. <laughs> you can use truck in every song. I think that's a law. You can do that. Um, and that's great. That is awesome. I'm not putting anything down. But, I've, you know, I've always been told, 
you know, with my kind of style, whether you call it rock or, you know, pop or whatever, um, if you're going to use something that someone says all the time, it better be clever because you got to weave it in. And most of the times, I'm not that clever. <laughs> so, anyways, we'll see what you think about this. So the next time you, um, you know, feel like things are just a mess and you just want to throw your hands up in the air. First of all, I want to thank, um, you know, Ray for putting this on tonight um, in conjunction with the MPAC. Um, yeah, really, I should have done this before. Um, and thanks, you know, for being up here on the stage with these guys. Um, great songs, great sounds. Thanks, man. You know, very nice meeting you. And I've known Shanna for a while, too, and she continues to impress. So um, I just want to throw that out there. And as far as CDs, I, you know, these people are all organized. I'm, I guess I'm lazy. I got to get on TuneCore CD Baby to get these on iTunes. I don't know why I, in my new job or whatever, I don't know why I haven't spent the time doing that. I will be doing that. However, what I wanted to do um, was to say I do have a bunch of CDs up here. And if someone wants to make a donation to MPAC of $5 or more, then I'd be happy to, you know, to give a CD. Uh, now I shouldn't have said that because I don't know how many I brought. <laughs> but hey, if we can get if we can get them a few dollars, um, I think it's worth it. So back to train wreck. <laughs> I think we need a train whistle. Back to this old capo thing here. Just started using the capo. Jim, Jim taught me that. Rolling along, missed all the signs Am I crazy, was I just blind I guess my darling, we were going too fast We jumped the rails, oh here comes the crash Now I'm a train wreck, out of control don't know why you had to go Now it's a big mess And I'm stuck in the mud I'm just a train wreck That you used to love Thoughts of loss fill in my head May find salvation May end up dead Well I still love you, won't lie to myself But this love keeps me sick And I wanna get well I'm just a train wreck Out of control Don't know why you had to go Now I'm a big mess And I'm stuck in the mud I'm just a train wreck That you used to love Train wreck Beautiful mess Let's confess This is a train wreck What could I expect To pay no debts? No, no, no All hands on deck For this train of this mess maybe it's time to pull myself up throw down the line I saw the sunrise maybe it's time no not today honey pull down the blinds cuz I'm a train wreck and I'm out of control don't know where you had to go now I'm a big mess and I'm stuck in the mud it's just a Train wreck that you used to love. Train wreck, a 
beautiful mess Let's confess This is a train wreck What could I expect To pay no debts No, no, no All hands on deck For this train train wreck thank you thank you very much hey I was born uh, on January 8th just like Elvis was <laughs> not the same year but yeah me and Elvis share a birthday um, so up in, up in Ontario, where I'm from, uh, my town of Cornwall um, was predominantly a mill town uh, for all of its life. We were big into agriculture and um, cotton. We had uh, weave sheds and cotton mills and uh, paper mill, paper industry. And in the 80s, the um, cotton mills left. And now in about six years ago, the paper mill closed down and it put a lot of people out of work. And um, so our town had to reinvent itself and find new jobs and kind of find a new identity because we're not an industrial town anymore. And uh, we're still working at, at, at trying to, uh, to find that identity. But um, it was a big deal in the, the morning that, that the plant closed after the last shift, the morning paper, had a photo of the um, the shift whistle, the shift, uh, uh, you know, the horn. Can you hear the horn when the, the shift changes? Yeah. They had a picture of that, and they said the, um, the last whistle blows for Domtar. That was the, the name of the mill at the time. I thought, well, there's a song right ahead of the headlines <laughs> waiting to be written, isn't it? So I, I, wrote, I wrote a song. It's called When the Last Whistle Blows, and um, my my uh, motivation was to um, to kind of capture the spirit of a hardworking community who had been through some rough and tumble times before and um, knew how to pick itself up and uh, and and dust itself off. And I know that the story is so familiar to so many communities, whether it was a paper industry or whatever. Um, you, you know, both our countries, Canada and the U.S., we have incredible natural resources, and. Um, but uh, you know, it get, it's it's expensive to refine them. We choose not to to pay for the labor to do that. So we we're losing that work. And I mean, that's I, I don't want to get all political or anything on you because that's not my point. The point of this is well, here the point is, let me sing the song. <laughs> Thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks for uh, for having me here. I've just been having a good time. When the last whistle blows, we'll go out on the town For a job well done, even though they shut us down And he hoped that pulp and fiber would line our dreams with gold He's going straight up the old smokestack when the last whistle blows The news is rather grim, we hate to see it come Cause we've been reeling paper since 1881 For a hundred years of toil to this agonizing end And it's hard to point a finger for the mess that we're in So when the last whistle blows We'll go out on the town for a job Shipment gone, no more boiling wood chip from dusk on till dawn. And there's a sad but eerie silence as the last machine shuts.
shut us down Cause we know it won't be easy It's all different now So when the last whistle blows We'll go out on the town For a job well done Even though they shut us down Any hope and hope and fire Will line our dreams with gold It's going straight up The old smokestack on the last whistle blows This is the only place I have ever called home And this town's rebounded Whistle blows, we'll go out on the town for a job well done, even though they shut us down. And we hope that pop and fiber would line our dreams of gold. It's going straight up the old smokestack for the last whistle blows. It's going straight up the old smokestack for the last whistle blows. Yeah. Nancy and Tony. Ooh. All right. It's been a pleasure and an honor to be up here with the both of you. So thank you for having me up here. Thank you guys for all coming here and supporting us and the Performing Arts Center. And thank you for having us up here as well. Milford TV for doing events like this for us too and for Milford. Um, I grew up in Milford for some time and um, was in elementary school here. Mom worked in town here at the police station growing up. And then we, um, I remember playing in that police station actually. Uh, <laughs> behind bars? Yeah, behind yes. the bars. Well, it was, it was playing. I was playing, okay. I was little. <laughs> I'm surprised they let me play around <laughs> in the police station, knowing what it is. And now I work in Upton Police Station part-time, um, knowing what the police stations are like, knowing my mother let me play in them, which is kind of funny. Um, but, so, you know, going into the... I have a point. So going into the next song... <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> um, this particular song in the album I dedicated to... Um, to all of my friends and my family and a lot of and which are all that are here this evening um, that have been with me for, for so long and because since my fifth grade talent shows um, where I thought I was Mariah Carey <laughs> and um, <clears throat> yeah <laughs> Woo. I was like Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, it was, yeah, I heard it's on video of VHS somewhere. God, I hope that never gets out. Um, that uh, always motivating me, always keeping me going. And, you know, most of us all know, although I'll keep denying it, that I'm not 16 years old and I'm not. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know. I so, but I, I am still trying, and I'm never going to give up, and I'm going to keep on going in this industry, and we're, we're because we love what we do, and this is not my full-time job, unfortunately. But you know what? We love it, and we're going to keep writing. And I made my first trip to Nashville, yeah, baby. and this is my first EP, <laughs> and thank you. And it, this, this, this EP wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you guys because it was Kickstarter backers that funded this EP and uh, uh, that, that is an amazing within itself to know that this was funded because people like you that funded it and backed it and believed in it and, uh, and I 
get darn emotional as I get older. And uh, so thank you so much for that. So this particular song, I thought of in the shower one day and I said, you know, it's not easy. This road is never easy, right? But you just don't give up. And it's not a pretty place sometimes. You love it. Days are not really easy. But you keep praying and you keep working hard. And uh, I wanted to write a song about it. So I sent it over to this lady here. And she's like, I got something. Try it out. What do you think? Connie put her little touch to it. And here you go. Look around and all I have, what a lucky girl I am. Thank God for the breath I breathe, even though it ain't been easy. Hard times may live in real time. job once again ladies and gentlemen for Shanna, Nancy and Tony please put your hands together Wow what a great night so thank you very much for coming out to MPAC for the um, what, do we, what do we call it Jim the coffee. <laughs> coffee house concert series you made you made me forget the name coffee house concert series I do want to thank uh, Jim and Lou from Zero Drift they do the sound every uh, every month when we do this so thank you very much. Huge, not only in a band, but huge supporters of local music. Thank, thank you very much to uh, Rob and his crew from Milford TV. Please give them a round of applause. Yeah. Also big supporters of local music. They're doing so much every day. Uh, so many new things to support local music. Thank you very much to John and Carol from, uh, from MPAC, Milford Performing Arts Center for letting us come in. Also supporters of local music. Who else? No, no, please. please. All right. All right, 
And for you guys for coming out and supporting local music. Yeah. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again in uh, just about a month. Have a great night.